Hello friends, welcome back to Tech with Viresh. Uh, in this continuous endeavor to understand Spark and explore this world of Apache Spark, today we have brought in another video. In this particular video, we'll discuss uh, one of the performance uh, mistakes or you know uh, performance uh, anti patterns that we see in the Apache Spark joins is the use of OR operator. Uh, instead of that, many a times it's possible to kind of use union instead of OR, and that will result in an absolute performance uh, uh, performance guarantees because union. Is, is is an operator which doesn't call for any sort of shuffling across it's just an uh, kind of a bookkeeping operator in this park world uh, while on the other hand or uh, kind of a results uh, use of an or within a joint operation can result in 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 a very drastic performance penalties so guys in this particular we will try to understand the nitty-gritties of of these two operators and how we sh we should use them judicially as far as the spark joints are concerned and uh, guys before I move forward I would like to request to all my viewers uh, do like comment and share to the videos and do not forget to subscribe uh, the channel so guys let's start so uh, what we are trying to understand in this particular video is one of the most common anti patterns and one of the biggest performance penalties that has been come across in this Spark workload is is primarily the use of an OR operator as as part of the join. Uh, many a times uh, we get into a situation where we prefer to write a join in such a way that we use a OR operator within it. So if you see this particular example here, we are trying to join two data frames, right? Data frame first, first and second and on two columns you use try to use the OR operator if you try to look at this particular statement or this particular spark uh, command uh, join command this looks pretty straightforward right there is no problem in that but the use of an OR operator within the join uh, may make it semantically uh, easier to understand uh, from a functional perspective but there's a there's a bigger caveat and big pitfall in such an operate in such an approach and we have to be an absolute uh, we have to be absolutely careful and aware of this pitfall so uh, use of an or within a joint condition is is why it's such a drastic performance hit why it it it's a performance hit because it will resolve into a deadly broadcast nested loop join now what is this broadcast nested loop join as the name indicate itself is nothing but a huge nested loop which kind of test all the n cross m records of the two tables involved in the join so it will run through a loop where on each side it will run through a loop uh, 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 how many times it will run the loop uh, n cross m times where n is the number of records in table 1 and m is the number of records in table 2 uh, of the two tables involved in the join which obviously is extremely inefficient because whenever it will try to create that hash table on the build side to do the join you know uh, and if your tables involved in the join are large tables the big data tables they have huge amount of data in that it will obviously result in in memory out of memory exceptions so it's an absolute inefficient way uh, to use or within the join commands and it will fall into the performance penalties both from the mo memory overhead and the time it will take to execute and as I've already said many a times it was seen when you have large workloads large tables involved in a particular query and that query resolves into a broadcast nested loop you will see the runtime kind of an exception that you know broadcast table is larger than this one larger than some size uh, which will result into say out of memory kind of exception because the hash table it will try to build for the for the build side to do the join will will not be able to fit into that allocated memory stand uh, just a quick refresher the kind of joints available in the spark world we've also discussed in detail in, in a separate video but and this this list is in the order of performance the most performant one obviously is the broadcast join obviously with the limitation that one of one of the table has to be of of 
uh, thir certain threshold size then comes your shuffle hash join and the last one is your sort merge join which is kind of based on the map reduced paradigm and absolutely effective when you have some you know extraordinarily large uh, workloads and data set which needs to be joined and the fourth one is as we have said it's a broadcast nested loop join it's 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 not exactly a join but just a fancy name which kind of does the looping under the hood and try to do an absolute mapping between the two records of the two tables involved and whatsoever is the situation happens it uh, our uh, you know result in a spark uh, query or a spark command should not result into broadcast nested loop there are several other scenarios not just the usage of or within the join but there are scenarios where where you try to join two larger workloads or tables and you don't specify the column on which you're trying to join in that case also it will result into a broadcast nested loop so the idea is uh, whatsoever is the situation uh, if we should never our joins statement should never resolve into broadcast broadcast nested loop as i've said earlier also uh, the union is is a much more efficient operation in this particular kind of a problem which we are discussing right now uh, because it causes zero shuffle now what is the workaround for this so workaround for the, the example that we have taken could be resolved or could be re rewritten in using the cho uh, using the union instead of the or operator so we can rewrite our example uh, using the union so what we have done we did a join for the condition one and then we did a join for the condition two and then we eventually did a union and for these two different commands if we'll try to check the physical plan or try to check the spark ui we can find out how it resolves so guys let's jump on to the demo so if you see this is the approach that we are trying to make performant so this approach we know if we'll try to go this approach it will as we are saying it will result into the broadcast nested loop join let's see I've created some uh, random data created two data frames so using some random data with three columns each and this is how this particular data frame looks like it's the data frame first and the data frame second and then let's try to run it through the first approach for first so here I've used the OR operator and if I try to look at the explain plan for this particular operation that clearly shows me out that it is resulting into a broadcast nested loop right and if I try to run an action on top of that I run an action on top of that this is what the output I have and if I try to evaluate the query plan for this one let's go to the spark UI and uh, this is the query plan and if you see also here it resulted into the broadcast nested loop which obviously is not at all efficient now if you try to evaluate the approach to that we have taken this is the approach to we have rewritten it using the union so the two join conditions we ran separately and then we did a union of the two intermediate data frames and if I try to look at the explain plan for this operation that clearly shows now it is not resolving anymore to the uh, broadcast nested loop rather it has been uh, resolved into the sort merge join which obviously is much more efficient and if I run some action on top of that and try to look well this is the output this is how we have rewritten and if we try to evaluate a you know a spark UI uh, query plan for this one is we clearly so that it is resulting into a sort merge join rather than a broadcast nested one if you see this it has resulted into kind of a minimal shuffling uh, there's shuffling of obviously but there's no looping of operations as it happens in the broadcast nested loop so and even if we try to check out the details on the query plan here also we can see that based on the you know 
uh, optimized logical plan the physical plan that which is eventually chosen is based on the sort merge join with the union as the operation instead of or within the joints so guys uh, what we are essentially trying to understand as part of this particular video is uh, broadcast nested loop join is is one of the joints available as part of the spark offering uh, however I mean whatsoever is the situation it ha needs to be avoided in in whatever situation whatever command query we are trying to write a couple of scenarios where broadcast nested loop will come into the picture you're trying to join two tables without specifying any columns so it will run into a loop to identify the matching columns uh, situation two that we have discussed in this particular video usage of or within a join just want to add that the problem that we discussed today there obviously a small caveat in that and that caveat is you know we are talking about the situation where our or conditions are collectively independent otherwise it may yield in a situation where you know union may result in duplicate records so uh, we are trying to discuss this situation here uh, where we have or conditions absolutely collectively independent so guys that's it in this particular video keep learning have a great day ahead don't forget to subscribe to the channel have a great day ahead. bye bye